Hi, thanks for watching this overview about treatment planning in Practice Web. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to plan treatment in the appointments and chart modules, prioritize treatment plans and create planned appointments, discuss benefits and present treatment plans, enter discounts and update fees, and send and process pre-authorizations. Treatment planning can happen in both the appointment module and the chart module. When scheduling a new patient, you can treatment plan with two features in the appointments module of Practice Web. These are through appointment types or through the edit appointment window. Appointment types are useful because they predefine the color, procedures, and time allotted to specific appointments like a new patient appointment, a crown appointment, or a filling appointment. Let's witness that in action. You can also use the Appointment Procs Quick Add list in the Edit Appointment window to include only procedures most often used in your practice. Let's witness this in action. To treatment plan procedures with your patient's chair side, you'll use the chart module. Charting procedures can be simplified with this recommended three-step process. First, we'll select the tooth or teeth. Then, we'll select the entry status. We'll select a procedure code to chart. This can happen in three ways. First, through the procedure buttons. By typing the procedure code into the procedure code field, or by searching using the procedure code list. By default, all treatment plan procedures can be identified in the chart module in red text and marked with a status of TP, or treatment plan. Prioritizing procedures in a treatment plan is important as the software is designed to apply any insurance benefits based on priority. There are two ways to prioritize a treatment plan, both using the priorities you've set up in definition. The first is from the chart module. If you move outside of the chart module, this will trigger the Create Planned Appointment prompt. Declining this prompt will allow you to create a planned appointment within the Treatment Plan module instead. You'll notice that all procedures were charted outside of the treatment plan module. It's worth to note that this module is strictly for presenting treatment. The second way to prioritize is directly from the treatment plan module. Notice how the remaining insurance benefits have applied to the topmost procedures and distribute according to priority. We can see the patient's insurance benefits through this chart. Notice how the unmet deductible is applied to the procedures in the active treatment plan. We can save different treatment plan options to present. For example, option one can be the ideal treatment to perform. We can highlight all treatment and click on the Save TP button. A 
If you want an alternative plan, we can save a second option. This time, let's highlight the extractions and click on the Save TP button. Upon accepting a plan, you can inactivate any procedures that were presented but declined. Let's see this in action. Save treatment plans can be signed, then emailed or printed to be given to the patient. Let's see that in action. You can add your logo, remove the odonogram or tooth chart, and customize the treatment plan sheet. You'll also notice that we can add discounts by percentage to any procedures. This most often is applicable to people who are not insured. Let's see this in action. We can also update fees and estimates if there are any changes made on the insurance plan that we want to apply. Lastly, pre-authorization claims are generated in the treatment plan module. Let's see this in action. Upon receipt of the pre-authorization EOB, you can apply the expected payment amount. Let's see that in action. Upon completion of these procedures, they will carry over to the patient's account ledger for billing. This completes our overview of treatment planning in Practice Web. If you have any questions about something that was not covered in this tutorial, please call support at 800-845 9379 option 2. You can also email us at support at practice-web.com.